today I'm going to show you how to do some acrylic pouring on my KitchenAid mixer. Now these techniques can be applied to anything. You don't have to do it on your KitchenAid, but I just thought this would be really fun to see how a pour turns out. Now before I started, I mixed some paints. For me, I did all shades of blue because those are my favorite things to work with. And I did white and four shades of blue. Now white, I would make the most of. And for all of my paints, I use a mixture of acrylic paint mixed with a pouring medium, Liquitex, Floetrol, water, combination of them. I use Liquitex and Floetrol and then mix water until the consistency is about thick honey. It should really run off of your stir straw when you lift your stir stick up. So see, well that one kind of needs a little bit more water. Let's see, see, there you go. You get some nice running off of it. So let's add a little more water to this white before we get going. And then the last thing I do before I start my pour is I add some silicone oil. And silicone oil is what helps get those really cool cells that everybody seems to like in fluid pouring. Now, if you pre-mix your paints in big batches and store them in a container, I would not put the silicone oil in there. I would wait to add it till right before. There we go, I like the way that's looking. So let's get started. And sorry if my head gets cut off, but I have to stand up to pour over the mixer. So you might just see my body. Anyways. Let's get started. For the next part of this video, I'm going to be doing a voiceover because the audio didn't quite record right and I want to make sure you guys have the clearest directions. So go ahead and turn the volume up to hear the instructions for what I'm doing. I went ahead and added the silicone oil into all of my colors and I'm giving it one final stir before I start. And as you can see, I have taped off the metal areas of my mixer where I don't want the paint to go and I also have taped on the back where there is ventilation. Now I'm starting by layering my colors in a really big cup. I always start with my neutral color first, which is either white or black, depending on your palette. And then I'm just layering from there. And you can see that in between a couple of the layers, I add an additional drop or two of silicone oil. Now this isn't something you have to do, but I like to do this um, not in between all of them, but just in between some of them. And then when I'm done adding all of my colors, I take a stir stick and I just stir two or three times to mix the paints a little bit. Now don't mix too much or you will muddy your colors up. Now for the fun part, and you can just start pouring it over your mixer. There's no wrong way to do this, and I think everybody's going to have a little bit of a different technique because this isn't a flat panel, so you kind of have to pour it differently. You've got to move your mixer up and down. You've got to twist it. Um, you've got to kind of pour it an angle. So whatever way you can get your paint on there, get your paint on there. As I've said before guys, there is absolutely no wrong way to pour this on there. You can see that I have a lot of blank spots that I'm going back in and I'm filling with more paint. And I'm gonna do this two or three more times until I'm really happy with the look. Um, I add my torch a little bit to it also to bring out some of the cells, but that's not necessary. And you also don't even really have to um, pick it up and turn it if you don't want. It really didn't help a whole lot um, on mine, but it may help with yours. When I'm done with the pour, I let it dry for about a week until I was certain it was completely dry. And then I sprayed on two to three coats of a regular acrylic varnish. I used Rust-Oleum's Triple Thick Glaze, but you can use your um, spray finish of choice. Now let me know how you guys like this video. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on some music for you for the last part of it where you can just see me tweaking it. I would love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. And let me know if there's any other interesting things you'd like to see an acrylic pour on. Thanks for tuning in today, guys, with Acrylic Pouring with Anne Upton.